Tonight, a little boy has died after he was run over on his bicycle. Troopers tell us the six year old was riding in the driveway along West 10th Street in Apopka, and then he rode out into the street, and that's when he was hit by that white SUV there. When we got there, you could still see the boy's bike under the car. His name is Kamari Dennison, according to troopers. He died at the hospital. Troopers have not said if they will ticket or charge the driver of this SUV. Some great news tonight for an Orlando woman who was heartbroken after her bulldog was stolen right out of her house. She tells us her dog has been found tonight. We first told you about Teresa Luce last week when she called us to get results, saying someone kicked in her door and took the French bulldog, but nothing else. Tonight, Teresa says that the dog is back home with her safe and she's not leaving his side. Now, as for how and where the dog was found, we're still trying to find that out. We'll let you know as soon as we get the details on it. Right now, a line of showers is marching towards Florida, and it will bring us a chance of rain to start off the first work week of the new year. Danny Trainer is pinpointing this front. Not a whole lot of rain, though, Danny. But not a lot of complaints about today. Though. Today was great. Good yeah, job. It's almost as warm right now as it was about 6 o'clock this it evening. Like it's it. really, really hasn't changed all that much, so you know it's going to be a warm, kind of muggy. Humidity's coming back. You can feel that, too. Uh -huh. That means we might just have a chance for a little bit of a ground fog in the morning. This is what it looks like over Daytona Beach right at the moment. And let's check the temperature. 69 degrees. That's pretty pleasant. But look at that humidity. 93%. You reach out and grab a handful and stare at it. But what uh, Eric was talking about just a moment ago, take a look up here around the panhandle. This is Mississippi. This is Alabama. This is Pensacola. This is the Scambia Bay right there. All of this is marching closer and closer to us. Now, it's not in any hurry to get here. I do think we could possibly see a chance for maybe a little bit of rain tomorrow afternoon. I think maybe around 4 o'clock. Part of that is going to be because it's going to warm up so much. It's going to be in the 80s once again for tomorrow. Right now, it's 70 in New Smyrna Beach, 71 at the Cape, 68 in Kissimmee, 67 in Orlando, 66 back in the villages, and 69 in Daytona Beach. So you know it's going to be warm. Now, all we got to do is take those winds down a little bit, and we might just see a little fog along the coast. It's not so bad, but once you get in the interior around Ocala and the villages, it's already go gone calm. So get ready. There could be some patchy fog and we might even deal with a thunderstorm tomorrow. We'll pinpoint that time for you when we come back. See you then, Danny. Thank you. Ormond Beach police got crime results tonight. Officers tell us they captured this Batman bandit recorded on surveillance video racing through a gas station during a couple of armed robberies recently. Well, investigators tell us that two people for those robberies were arrested. In both cases, the suspect wore that bath Batman mask and sweatshirt. We're told Ormond Beach police found the two suspects, both women asleep in a Walmart parking lot in Ormond Beach, just off I-95. Here, they're mugged shots. Police say the women are Watika Thomason and Cassandra Rafa. Both have been arrested and face several charges. A judge gave them no bond. Tonight, deputies in Osceola County are trying to figure out who the man is found dead near an apartment complex off 192 in Kissimmee. Deputies say that somebody discovered the man's body yesterday off Parkway Boulevard in Kissimmee, right behind the Gaylord Palms Resort alongside I-4. Now, the complex is called the Blossom Park Villas. When we got there yesterday, uh, there was no sign of deputies or a crime scene there. They're only calling this a suspicious death and not saying how the man died, but that this is an isolated incident, they say. We're still digging for more information after troopers found a mom and dad dead along the interstate. The troopers made the discovery early yesterday morning on I-4 near